we're going to draw the Lewis structure for iron 2 oxide, which has the formula FeO. Step one is to agree with me that iron, the metal, will have two electrons in its outer shell to start with. And we're basing this off of the charge on that atom. Often from the periodic table, you can tell how many valence electrons there will be based on the identity of the atom, but iron can have multiple different charges. And so you'll have to be informed by the charge it has in the molecule you're asked for. Iron, Fe, in this case, will have one, two valence electrons. Again, because that's the charge on it in the formula itself. Now, oxide is oxygen. That's group 16, aka 6, valence electrons in its outer shell. So I'm going to draw the O with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 valence electrons. Note that I spread them out before I doubled them up. Now, a metal plus a non-metal is always going to make an ionic compound, which is a transfer of electrons from metal to non-metal. Specifically, the non-metal oxygen will want a complete or full outer shell of eight electrons. That's the octet rule. Currently, it has six, so it needs two extra electrons in order to have that complete octet. Oh, well, lucky for us, this iron here already has two electrons that it wants to get rid of. So I'm going to draw an arrow here to show that electron being paired with that one and an arrow here to show that electron being paired with that one. After that transfer, this iron will have no electrons in its outer shell. That makes it stable. And the oxygen will have a complete outer shell of eight electrons. That makes it stable as well. The complete Lewis structure for iron two oxide is Fe with no valence electrons drawn because it gave its electrons away and a plus two charge shown because it lost two negatively charged electrons. Losing negatives makes you positive. And oxygen will have its six valence electrons plus the two extras from iron. Oh, that's a complete octet. And that's a charge of minus two. These two charges cancel each other out to give you one and one. That's why the formula is FeO. And this is the complete Lewis structure for iron 2 oxide. Congratulations, you did it. Best of luck.